Uh, we will talk about that. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, it's award season, and we just went after the, what was it? We just finished the Screen Actors Guild. But there's one of these things that you may not know is just because you produced the movie and you were one of the producers does not mean you'll get any credit for it. Um, yeah, so even stars, big time stars like Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, we're seeing their names removed. Something not seem right? Or do you have to belong to that guild? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Obama and his people have nothing to do with Fast and the Furious. Oh, yeah. Well, they said Obama and the Democratic Party leadership this morning proudly announced after an extensive Justice Department investigation that Eric Holder and none of the appointees of, of Barack Obama to the Justice Department had anything to do with the Operation Fast and Furious and that they found in their investigation that it was George Bush and, and his people that were responsible for it, even though Bush was not in office, his people were not in office, and the people that were involved in it were, were, uh, were civil employees, which um, they, they thought this morning, they said that that was a, a thing that went totally nowhere. They did an investigation of themselves and found that they were innocent. And Mitty's piece talks founder. And, and Obama's getting mad at the Israelis again. Well, he got mad at the Israelis, and the Israelis did a test flight towards Iran this morning, mm -hmm. showing that they're going to dump bombs in Iran, and they're going to fly over Muslim countries, and they're not going to give a damn, because they're going to send bombers in first, you know, to take out any installations that might shoot at them in Saudi Arabia and Iraq and those places. They're willing to set the whole Middle East to fighting because our president is anti-Semitic. And cocaine seized at UN headquarters in New York. It wasn't their cocaine. Even though it was sent to an office to an individual, it was an accident. No, because it was, <laughs> it was, it was sent as a diplomatic thing and it got opened. That's what they do, folks. If you want to smuggle something in and out of, the, out of a country, you put it in a diplomatic pouch. Somebody opened up something that was meant for someone else and there was like a zillion dollars of cocaine in it. Ooh. Could have been for a party for UN people too, so. And deep dead sea vents, um, team with wild in cold ocean. That one makes no sense to me. Does it make any sense to you? Yeah, dead deep sea vents, team with life in cold ocean. Okay, I, so? okay, I get it. It's one of those steaming vents in the ocean where, you know, the where hot stuff is coming up from the vent from underneath the ocean floor and it's got life in it. You know why it's got life? Because it's warm in that spot. Yeah. But that's so? sensible. Okay. What happens is when the news people have Oh, because they thought it was dead. Yeah, it's not it's not a dead sea. It's teeming with life around the vents that are producing warm water. But they thought these dead these sea vents were dead. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh-huh. Gingrich spokesman calls debate black jack push. Yeah, okay. What uh, what happens is is that uh, here's the thing is Romney is winning simply based upon how much money Romney has to spend. He's not winning on strength. And um, I will guarantee you, if Romney did not win one single delegate between now and the convention, Romney would be unanimously chosen at the party by the party leaders uh, as the de as the person to run against Obama because Romney is one of the old guard. This is a guy that got a. This is a okay, a moderate. Republican in Massachusetts is a god-awful liberal Democrat. That's what he is. Because they don't elect moderate anything in Massachusetts. An economy grew 2.8% in Q4, but outlook is hazy. Yeah, they said, you can look, I love this, that it will be the year 2018 before the economy recovers. And uh, we, would have, we would have done better except for George Bush and the Republicans and their interference. Mm -hmm. He's not president. Okay. Uh, we just came back from Sundance, and I can guarantee you the people there did not know Barack Obama was president. They think George Bush is. Well, that's the sad part. That's the sad part. They actually think that George Bush is still the president of the United States, and that Barack Obama is running against mm -hmm. him. And St. Louis hosts the first big parade on Iraq wars and... Which I thought was sort of asinine. I mean, there's military bases, but they're nowhere near St. Louis. You go west towards Kansas City. There's lots of military bases like the stealth bombers over in that area. 
Kansas has got massive military. There ain't nothing in St. Louis, but they held a parade there just the same. An economy grew 2.8% in Q4, but outlook is hazy. I know she liked that. We should do well, it twice. Well, St. Louis has first big she, parade. Yeah, she did it twice. Oh, you know what? It's twice. I know, but at least... No, no, but it's twice in here. I know. And Obama to ABC News, I second-guess constantly. Yeah, because he's in... Okay, a president should never, ever second-guess what he's doing. A president of the United States is like... I got into a discussion the other day uh, about that fact, that Obama's a great... He's a great person to know, a great neighbor, a great father, but as a president, he totally does not know what he's doing, and he shows it. By telling people, well, I have second guess myself. The uh, president ha does not have the right to second guess himself. You know and you stick with it, whether it's right or wrong, you do it. And they re if you screw up and you try, they respect you for screwing up and trying. They don't respect a person. Well, I think I may have made a mistake when I did it. And I, 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 you know, he, he doesn't admit he made a mistake. He just simply says, well, this is the way it is, and we do it that way, you know, and, you know, and then, well, maybe right. we won't do it that way. I think we'll do it that way. No, uh, maybe Nancy Pelosi can tell me what we I mean, if, if you ask any of the other presidents, I don't think you'd ever hear a response like that. They'll never yeah. hear a president say, I second guess what I did, whether I did was right or wrong. Because usually they make the best decision that based they... Based upon the knowledge that they're, the information they're they getting. They have at that time. And the time information <laughs> may be totally wrong, such as... Okay, like they're criticizing Bush over Iraq. First of all, everybody in the right in the mind knows that Saddam Hussein was had a nuclear weapons program and he had a biological program. It's the same thing. It's just because they can't find the stuff from World War II from Germany didn't mean it didn't exist, folks. They just couldn't find it. Oh, really? Yeah. I know. I know. This is what happens when you get a window pops up. Airline di worker dies in baggage cart hits shuttle. Yeah, uh, well, I've seen those baggage carts. Those things are heavy little monsters. Gosh, and, if I think about how much weight they had on those things. Yeah, and you're, it's, it's a miracle there's not more serious accidents today because you got to see, they're like ants running. Go When you go fly an airplane, go look at the out the observation windows and see how many people are on the ground at one time. And you're amazed at how little accidents there are. And unfortunately, when one happens, it's almost always serious because of that. I know, could you imagine all that weight? Yep. Um, Connecticut killer sentenced to die for unimaginable horror. Oh, yeah. Let's see, he, he raped two people uh, and then tied them all three to a bed and then set the beds and then set the building on fire. What? Yeah, but he wasn't guilty because he had been molested as he was a child. He killed three people. He but don't killed. worry, Connecticut doesn't believe in the death penalty. So even though they were sentenced, to, the two people that did it, they'll be re that one person said that they will probably be released from a jail cell before the the people have forgotten who they killed. You know, that's one of those times when you're sitting there thinking an eye for an eye would be really. A Democrats problem. don't believe it. They uh, mm -hmm. okay. I heard them already say, well, these people, if they had to been flaunting their wealth, it wouldn't have happened. I, that is like disgusting. It's the same thing. They they killed they a guy. Drove, for, yeah, but they drove. It's their fault. They drove me to this. That's the Democrats will tell you that the innocent person is always the one. The the, the innocent person is the criminal. The innocent person is never the victim because if the victim didn't have so much, that's why Obama wants to take everything from the wealthy and then give it to the poor. You know, that way... Except be he's a, not following that himself. Well, no, but Democrats, okay, Democrats will never take anything from themselves. It's just like um, my parents fought a zillion-year battle to a place in, um, in Mineral King, which we own. We could never get to the property in Mineral King to build because the Sierra Club wouldn't allow us to go there. But the Sierra Club would use, the, use their four-wheel drives and go onto the property anytime they wanted. But they wouldn't let us go there. Mm -hmm. We couldn't, even though we had a legal right to go through a, to build a road to go there. They just, my father finally said, "Screw you," and they just left the property. Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy fire back at Fox News. Oh God! It's got Eric Bolling over at Fox Business made a, a half-ass remark about <laughs> no. this. The uh, the Muppet movie was anti big business and anti oil. It was a joke, folks. He couldn't see it, and I'm up at, well, I guess Kermit said, I guess Mr. Bowling failed to realize that 
Remember driving a god awful Rolls Royce throughout the entire movie, and they get like about four miles at a gallon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we definitely not add high oil. Iowa woman gives birth to nearly a 14 pound baby boy. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's like, like three bowling balls. I mean, oh God. Yeah, can you imagine a woman carrying? I, I was like this when I was born. And my and and my, my sisters were big. My, I had two sisters. They were well, actually my mother. My sisters were about six pounds a piece. So I was about twelve pounds of baby right there. Mm -hmm. They were twins. Getting ready for the Super Bowl and so much for Super Bowl press day. It's all about Peyton Manning. <laughs> and it's not about Peyton Manning in a positive way. It's a lot of it is about Peyton Manning, basically maybe being charged for criminal misconduct because he knew that he was not going to be able to play football again and, and basically uh, got a huge amount of money. And they think that he's going to try to pull it one more time. That unless, they, uh, uh, unless he uh, basically fails a physical, which he can't because it's just to see if you're healthy, not to see if you're going to be an athlete, he's going to get $28 million more in another month or so. And he knows that he can't play football. They said, the guy can throw football five yards. And he can basically stand there as long as nobody's running at him. He's got a he fused in his neck. He, he cannot be hit. If he's hit, he could basically. Um, I mean, with Kansas City Chiefs had a great running back called Priest. The guy could be just a you know, young guy did everything on earth and he broke it. He did the same injury to his neck. He tried to come back a year later. The first time he got hit, he just kept he walked off the field, never came back because. Mm -hmm. The doctors had told him, if you ever get hit again, you could be paralyzed the rest of life. You know they've told Peyton Manning the same thing. You do not play football after uh, neck surgery. It is not done. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, good. I'm going to try to figure out <laughs> yeah, about this one. Okay. Um, that, uh, uh, okay. Just because the Justice Department exonerates themselves from all crimes that they have done as the yes, department didn't do the crimes. Oh. <laughs>